What's up guys, it's Che here and welcome back to a little bit more of Overwatch. Now currently, as you no doubt know, the final weekend or week or whatever the hell you want to call it, the open beta test is now running. However, we are currently in the early access part, which uh, which I actually have access to, which is which is freaking awesome. And I'm loving this game. Now, this is my first proper play as Farah. Now, I've never really played her. I play the soldier occasionally uh, in TF2, which is the closest comparison you can get with her. Except, obviously, she has a jetpack <laughs> and can fly. So there's you know there's there's quite a considerable difference at the same time. But the concept of a rocket launcher is more or less the same. However. I'm not very good with this. So you're going to have to bear with me in this video, guys, okay? Bear with me. I'm still learning. I'm still learning, I am. That's what's happening. I'm learning. So we're getting a little bit better at the game. Now, what I'm trying to do at this moment is... not Well, not in the game as such, just in general. Is trying to figure out all of the classes. I want to be able to be able to pick up and play the classes um, well. I want to know how they work and the best ways of using stuff. So that's kind of like the what I'm doing currently in this game. I'm trying to figure out... A few different classes, trying to figure out how they work, what are the best techniques to use, that kind of stuff. That's my aim at the moment, because I want to be able to uh, pick up and play any of the characters I want to play as, and I want to be able to help you guys as much as I can, you know, make some videos based on different strategies and stuff. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. So, in this particular game, as I said, we are playing as Farah, and she has this freaking insane, uh, absolutely insane ultimate. If you get it at a point where they cannot, they do not notice you're there, you can really, really wreak some freaking havoc but all I can say about that ultimate is do it from the sky never ever do it um, from the ground level unless you absolutely have to if you have no other choice if you're going to die and you, you have no other choice then fine then go ahead but I would recommend that you don't if you can get up high like if your if your little jetpacky thing is, is on cooldown you're like oh my god I'm gonna die this is kind of like a, a last ditch attempt then by all means go for it but try not to I don't recommend you doing that that sense just simply because you're a bit of a a bit of a, a bit of a target. You know, you don't move. You are completely static. You can be picked off so simply. And unfortunately, I die here to a freaking Genji. Genji's pissed me off at the moment, by the way. They're so annoying. There's a couple of characters in this at the moment which just hack me off. One of them's Genji. He, he's a great character. Don't get me wrong. Genji's a brilliant character. It's just when you come across those really annoying ones, the people that are very good at it or. Have, have, have that kind of technique they use where they just run at you and jump around like a crazy person. Then they're very annoying. Nice uh, nice air shot there, I have to admit. And then, of course, you've got uh, Bastion, which is also incredibly annoying. If he can get himself in a little spot, which, you know, he's essentially got no way of you getting to him, he just becomes this impenetrable force of just healing annoyance. So that's, that's, that's my kind of digs of currently. I don't know if there's going to be any nerfs up coming up. I don't know if they've buffed them over the time being. I don't tend to read the... Um, the patch notes. I probably should. From now on, I will do that. I will read the patch notes and figure out what um, what actually happens. And see, unfortunately, I only got one kill out of all that. I'm still getting used to sort of how many shots and what kind of damage they do per shot. So that's something which I'm still learning on. And uh, and I, I don't mind saying that. I, I'm not I'm not the most amazing player in the world, but um, you know, I'm not I'm not the worst player in the world at the same time. Um, there are some terrible players on this team on this game, and people are still learning. Um, that you need to play as a team. That's that's the problem. There are a lot of people that still don't do that in the game. You kind of have these little kind of lone rangers and stuff like that. Now there are a couple of characters which are generally like that. I mean Tracer being one of them is very much, in my eyes, she's very much a lone ranger. She's sort of the character which you don't, well you you do play the um, you do play the objective, but it's kind of like not your priority because you're such uh, an easy maneuverability kind of class you flick around all over the bloody place you're more of an in and out wreak some havoc be a bit of a pain in the ass for five seconds and then piss off again it's that kind of you're that kind of character whereas someone like Farah or whatever is very much a kind of like a front line but like an air support kind of front line character um, each character has their own kind of thing which is a unique thing obviously there's only six you know there's only six players per team but there's 20 21 characters I believe it is um, so there's a huge, huge variety. There we go. Freaking Bastion being a douche. Not a fan of you, good sir. <laughs> Not a fan. Does he pick me up? Oh, no, he doesn't. But this, this freaking capture point, guys, is ridiculous. This is a hard capture point to do. If they've got a relatively good team, you know, coordinated team, um, it is so difficult to push into there and, and do anything. Once you've, once you've, you know, once they've secured that, it's very difficult to get back in there again. You know, yes, you, it's doable. You know, you, you have to properly have all of your team at the same time. 
um, which was a major issue at this point. There was not many people that were willing to push in. And obviously dying on this game is... Uh, it, it's... It's not as a, as a... It's a bigger deal than it is on Team Fortress 2. Um, but at the same time, you know, if you moving in and manage to take out one person um, can often help a team a team do something. Even if it's just against you going in and trying to ultimate or something like that. Because there are points in this game where you, you do need to do that. You do need to make the executive decision. Do I just jump in like a crazy person? Or don't I? Freaking can't believe I didn't manage to kill this person. It is absolutely ridiculous that... Oh, I did kill him. Th oh, okay, I'm thinking of a completely different game. <laughs> I do apologise. I played, like, so many games last night, and I was trying to filter through them all, and I'm pretty sure I played another one where I didn't manage to do that. That's an example I was talking about earlier. I used my ultimate in the wrong place. If I had gone in there and used it, it would have done a lot more damage and it would have been a lot worse. But literally, the person just poked around the corner, shot me in the face with the rocket, and I was dead. So that was fun. That was fun indeed. That was not a good idea, me doing that. So yes, I am very much enjoying this video, this video, this game. Um, I quite like Farah. She's one that you can kind of pick up with and just kind of play around with. Um, there's not a kind of like inherent major skill you kind of need. All you need to be able to do is kind of plan where your rocket is and be a relatively good aim. Which I'm still, of course, learning on. I'm not the most amazing shot in the world. I can be at times, but there's often... The same with any freaking uh, first-person shoot. You have your on and off days. Like, for me, it tends to be whenever I press F9, which is my record button... I just can't play, and if I'm not pressed, if I haven't pressed it, I always get the really good games and then realise I've not bloody recorded it. So it's a bit of it's a bit of an annoyance, really. It's a bit of an annoyance, really. So this game is we are on the third capture point currently. Uh, we annihilated the first one, they annihilated us on the second one, and then we've got this one that remaining time of the video. So you know it, it's one all. We're on the uh, we're on that capture point, the last little bit, and this one again it is. It's a difficult one, this one. It's, it's, it's okay if you've got, like I said, once again, a coordinated team. This this game is team. You have to play as a team. Otherwise, you will not win. Yes, like I said, there are the occasional character which you can just go off and do whatever the hell you kind of want. Tracer being one of them. Uh, I'd say Widowmaker to an extent. Um, but for me, you have to. You have to remain as a team. And I thought my team was pushing in here. I looked across the way and saw our tank who apparently then died and I didn't realise and I jumped in by myself and ended up getting annihilated by, you know, four six of their entire team. Little little tip here guys, go around here. If you're Farah, go around here. They don't really expect it very often you come floating around this way and it's a super fast route to flank the flank the attacking the sorry the whoever's on this bit. It's a super fast way of getting back in again. Now we do manage to get the um, the ultimate off and get a double kill. But unfortunately we are blown out of the sky by the big mother trucker that is whatever his name is but yes you can jump around here I recommend you give yourself a boost and then just kind of float along with the uh, the fuel keep it balanced and you should be okay you should make it most of the way but it's a really nice little technique to get all the way around around to the back again to be able to give yourself a little bit of an advantage in that sense so the game is coming to an end guys so i do thank you very very much for watching if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to give us a good old-fashioned like rating you know go on twitter give us a share and all that kind of stuff share and like and do all those little bits and bobs. And I will see you when I see you. When I see you, when I see you. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Goodbye.